This is Tekker 911, Episode 1, Firefox. computers. This is the latest version of IE, IE7. Most people in the community, computer community don't like IE7 for numerous reasons. First of all, they think it's more insecure as it allows drive-by downloads such as spyware and adware to easily be downloaded on your system. Also, it doesn't support web standards like CSS easily, which makes it harder for web developers to develop pages. Internet Explorer 7, which is the new release of IE, has gotten a lot better in its security and has numerous features that it actually copied from the web browser we're about to show you, Firefox. IE also got a lot better when Service Pack 2 of Windows XP came out. It's fixed a lot of the flaws, but most people are still moving to this web browser, which is going to be Firefox. So, Dovin, tell us about Firefox. Preferred browser of computer enthusiasts is Firefox, which you can get at GetFirefox.com. It is a small download and it is easy to use. It also has many innovative features, some of which were copied by IE. One of these is tab browsing. This lets you have multiple websites open on different tabs. This is similar to how you have different web, different applications open down here on the taskbar. Another innovative feature is the search bar up here. You can just type in a term and then hit enter to search Google really quickly. Another new innovative feature is a pop-up blocker. IE also copied this feature. But some innovative features which are new in Firefox 2, which Internet Explorer has yet to copy, is a spell checker. If you're writing a blog entry or updating your MySpace page or something like that, and you accidentally misspell a word, it'll underline it in red squiggles, just like how Word does it. You can then right-click on the word and correct it. Another innovative new feature is a session restore. If, the, if your computer crashes or if Firefox crashes, when you next time you open Firefox, Firefox will give you the option to open all your windows just how they were before your computer crashed. Internet Explorer has yet to copy this new feature. Some other things which Firefox has, which Internet Explorer has copied, are extensions. Extensions let you add, easily add new functionality to the web browser. For example, you could add the Google toolbar, like this. Or, or many other things, which we'll show you in other episodes. Another innovative thing is themes. You can download from the add-on site, just click here, get themes. Some of them, like you can make your browser look like a Mac, or, a, or make it look exactly like Internet Explorer 7, if you so wish. So we're going to demonstrate one of these themes here. We're going to make our computer look like a Mac, Mac like a Mac OS X. So we're going to use this theme. Close and restart Firefox. Look like I'm using a Macintosh. See? Right there. Look at that. Like now it use... looks, like it's, looks like Safari almost. Now, Dovin also has written an article about Firefox on his website, w3life.com. Which also has an article about Internet Explorer and, and the camera guy also makes his own custom builds on there. So check it out. It's a good site. For more information or to download this episode you've just saw, visit our website at 911.techer.net. You can even download a version for your iPod. Ooh, iPod. That's all for today. We'll see you next we'll see you next time here on Techer 911.